Hello and welcome back to Nadia's Identity Files. It is time for our on-air dream consult rather than our on-air social media consult. Yay! Yay. <laughs> so um, walk me through what I need to do. I don't know if you just want me to start just breaking down my dream and then we go from there. I've never done this before. I often will look up online um, different ways to interpret my dream or I take in my own understandings of some some symbols and Carl Jung books and this and that and the other and put together my own interpretations. Best thing to do is just tell us the dream the way it happened as clearly as possible. Try to try to make it very visual so everybody at home kind of gets a really good picture of it and we get a good picture of what 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 this dream looked like and what was happening in it. Okay. So about a week ago I dreamed that I was in a train station and all the colors were kind of dim like there were a lot of grays and browns it kind of looked like an old train station even though i knew it was contemporary and i was there and there were a bunch of other people all of a sudden as i was kind of standing in the center i wasn't by all of the trains but i knew i had to catch a train somewhat soon um, i think i had the sneaking suspicion i was running late but it wasn't really something that was at the top of my mind i just was there mostly observing people that were coming in and out of the station and I remember standing there and a bunch of young people came in. It was like they were part of some sort of collegiate group or something, which I was not really sure where they were coming from, but they were walking really fast to catch their train. So for some reason, I start walking towards the elevator. I think maybe I thought the train I had to catch was on the next floor. Maybe there were, it was a two story train station. I don't know. Maybe it was like the outdoor tracks. So I wasn't really thinking about it. I just walked to the elevator. And in the elevator, um, all of a sudden, it it's gets stuck for a second, and then it starts moving up. And then I get out, and then all of a sudden, I'm in a different scene. I'm outside of, speaking of those college-looking people, of like a... I guess a school, like a community college or something, and I wasn't sure if I was there in the context of a student or a trainer, but I was there, and then I saw my abusive ex-boyfriend there with some like weird looking blonde girl, and they were like together, and I don't know, he looks at me in like kind of a sinister way, like look what I'm doing now, and I'm just like grossed out, and then I get back to the train station, it just flips back to the train station. And I'm in the elevator and he's in the elevator with me and he's just like kind of like getting really uncomfortably close and saying like, you know, like we should just try this again, blah, blah, blah. Like, let's do this again. And, you know, obviously trying to make a sexual advance on me. And I was very uncomfortable and I just leave him there in the train station and I get out. And then there's there are those kids again. They're all blonde. Like, what is happening? And then I just um, I think I woke up. That's so. a very powerful dream. So <laughs> Thank you for sharing. How did you feel when you woke up? Um, when I woke up, I felt, I didn't feel bad. I felt kind of, felt mostly calm, a little bit eerie as well, because whenever I see um, an image of this ex-boyfriend, even if I'm, you know, getting him away from me, and I, I know I have no involvement with him anymore, it's still somewhat uncomfortable. But I didn't feel upset. I felt somewhat like, like a, a strong sense of self-awareness almost. Beautiful. Well, there are a few layers to this dream. It's a very juicy, wonderful dream. First of all, you're ready to transition into the new era of your life, new stage of your life. And that's why you are at the train station. Usually it's rep it represents the progression or catching the train tells you that you're going somewhere at the speed, right? Mm. You need to catch your train though. See, there are a lot of trains going back and forth. A lot of different people were on the platform, right? College mm -hmm. kids, I love that. That means that people who are learning, who are opening themselves to learn a lot. So how does it translate in your physical life? You are at the crossroads of progression into the speedy future, meaning you are starting something incredible. I love yeah. the fact <laughs> I love the fact that you had to go into the elevator. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very important, the direction of the elevator moving either up or down. You're saying you were moving up. 
So that is telling you that you are on the right path. You're going up, meaning to the spiritual a world, spiritual a higher world. spiritual world, mm -hmm. higher perception, opening your mind, mm -hmm. higher connection to the spirit. But you got stuck, right, a little bit. Mm -hmm. And that's when I think you kind of switched direction yeah. and went into the past. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what it tells me that there are unresolved issues from these relationships mm -hmm. still lingering. And what this dream is telling you, it gives you the opportunity to work out this issue. To me, I think, I do believe that there is a residual of the spirit, the abusive spirit with the sexual connotation that mm. was left behind, even though you're not in the relationship anymore. That's what constantly bringing you back into it. So that factor needs to be working on. As soon as you get rid of it, as soon as you work on that kind of part, yeah you will be up and running again. I love that you're back at the station at the end of the dream. I love that the students are all blonde. <laughs> to me, it represents yeah. that they have angelic understanding. Interesting. Yeah, the angels we often see in the spirit, because we travel there quite a bit, um, they often have blonde hair. The ones in the highest heaven have like golden hair. And I think that's what it's saying. And I agree with Liza totally. There's not much I can add. She covered it pretty good. but. I would imp I would have to impress that it's important to release and heal. It, it can be the energy from the boyfriend, also a spirit that's picked up. But I would also release any beliefs that you might have around relationships in terms of this particular abusive relationship. And that will prepare you to now receive the partner you're supposed to have that's loving, caring, giving, the one you believe and dream for. Right. There is also a possibility, you. maybe you're looking back too much, mm -hmm. you know, maybe you're opening the wound too much. If you will keep looking forward and kind of release the spirit and whatever attachment that was to the past, to this past hurtful relationship, I'm assuming, you will propel yourself forward right away because you're ready, you're ready. Right. What tells me that you're ready is the feeling that you had that you might be late. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That means that the time is now. Yeah. Okay. So the time is now. Just get on the train, girl. Now I noticed <laughs> um, that I had a lot more of these dreams when I was right after the relationship, but it's the first one in a long time. Yeah. It's good though. The great thing about this, see, this stuff has to come up, and that's the great thing about dreams because we see ourselves in a certain way by looking in the mirror by what culture tells us, what society tells us, what, what wounds and, and problems we've had in our life. But when we have a dream, God begins to really reveal to us who we really are, and he starts to show us where those wounds are, where those healings are required. Just had tissues thrown on the so, <laughs> so that you can receive the, so you can get a, so that wound can be healed. And that way you can step into being your true self. See, you have greater plans. God has right. a greater plan for you to step into something right. really amazing. Going to that second level, that higher level, the spiritual level. When we're looking at the physical, we're, we're kind of struggling and we're thinking, okay, I should do this, I should do that. But when we start to step into the spiritual, now you start to know. This is your true identity is the spirit. Mm -hmm. The spirit lasts. This physical body will, will change over time. It will get older and eventually we'll shed it. But the spirit remains for eternity and you'll continue to be that person. So for people like me or others in a similar situation, how do you suggest that they kind of shed this residual feeling or... Um, from the, the past relationship it, or even just a past experience. What Start do you working with your dreams, come to our workshops, learn how to work with the dreams, come for a session with us. It's yeah. easy. The it's easier than you think. The healing is in this dream. In it's this the, dream. The, the, it's mm -hmm. like the antidote to the poisons already right. in the dream. We don't have to create something. We just have to go back into that dream space. And that's one of the things you have to know about dreams is there are actual places you can return to. Right, right. Th this is a place you can go back into that and you can receive the healing that has already been put there. One thing I'll add also about this dream is I... Um, when he was in the elevator, when I, right before, I think I, tra think I said I transitioned out of that. I mean, of course, when we were rec recalling our dreams, they get a little jumbled up, but he just kind of disappeared. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I don't know if that was me in the dream willing him to disappear or it, him disappearing onto himself. It's time. Or They're telling you that it's time. It's time for you to heal the past because the future yeah. is here and it's waiting. 
And you closing, this is the thing, is we got to close the door mm -hmm. to, the, to the stuff that doesn't work in our life. We have to right. close that door and let it go because there's a new door opening for you. That's why you're getting on this train on the second level because there's a new door, new opportunities, mm. amazing things, ready to go. And this is something wow. that's always been planned for you. See, if we don't work on this stuff, the plan, the desires, the dreams that we have in our heart never get fulfilled. But if we shed this stuff, we don't have to dwell on it. We don't have to be mired in it and, and you know, totally just letting ourselves focus on it too much. When it comes up, we get it, we get released. And now we can step back into who we really are and you start moving forward. And that's one of the great things when you're working your dream, you feel alive. People are always trying to find, how do I feel so alive? What makes right. me feel so great? They're always and searching, we're looking searching, for something. Right. People are jumping out of planes. People are doing drugs. They're trying right. to find that <laughs> feeling. And yet, if you work in your dream, mm -hmm. you will feel alive because now your spirit comes to the surface and Absolutely. begins to move. Well, thank you so much for that. I def that's a good way to get my week started. And thank you, everyone, for tuning in. Um, can you tell the audience how they can find you and um, what it takes to get their dreams analyzed? Go to our website, dreamexpertsacademy.com. We are here to help you. Call us, 310-883-5450. We are here to help. We would love to help you and take you into the new level of your destiny. And if you have any um, further questions or issues and get in contact with either Liza or Ted, you can feel free to find me on any of my social media handles or on the WCOBM website. Thank you for tuning in, guys. Have a wonderful week.